Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series which is hopefully going to be fairly long running on this channel. What we're going to be doing is creating a model farm. It's going to be something which we do pretty much every week. Um, it's going to be starting in a few weeks time and um, basically every week we just create another part to it. So I've got first of all some of this sort of soil model scenery. It's designed for the fields. That's going to be great as an underlay. I'm going to put some loose sawdust which is going to act like soil on top. We then have some of this sort of tarmac hardcore sort of a, a style which is going to be for the yard um, fairly hard standing so that should look perfect around there I've also got a, a barn as well which I need to actually put in but this is actually sold as manure but really is recommended to be used as the top layer on a field for example on this mat which we've got just here which means that you can do some plowing if you wanted to after this I've got some uh, very nice little farm tracks which obviously unravels and um, you can lay it down and create your own farm tracks along with this there's actually another one which has got the grass in the middle and just basically hardcore where your tires run but it should make everything look really good we're going to be setting all this up in the next episode and finally we do have some hedges as well very expensive but apparently you can sort of mold them into whatever shape you desire so you can curve them into a bend they don't have to stay straight. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you for the time being. What we do need to do though is of course open the first tractor for the farm. I've chosen a Ford TW30, which I think is around 175 horsepower or so. Before I open it, let's just take a look at the box. There isn't really an awful lot printed on here, basically just emphasizing it is the TW30 tractor. This shows you you can move the hitch and also you can steer the front wheels. Uh, and it says the illustration is a prototype. So yeah, let's uh, get into it and we'll uh, take a look at it in closer detail. So yeah, pr basically what I'm going to do is hopefully unbox a new tractor or implement every week. We're obviously going to create the entire farm, all the scenery and everything. We're going to have farm buildings and each field is going to be um, obviously divided into sections and we're going to probably put hedges around them all. But yeah, here is the Ford TW30, looks very good. And at some point we'll be able to get an implement for this and we'll be able to put it into a field and uh, it should really look the part. I'm just gonna pause the video because what I need to do is cut the cables underneath so we can actually remove it out of the packaging. Never been good with these things. There we go, right, it should lift out. And we'll put the packaging to one side. Now the lighting isn't perfect, I'm actually gonna get some studio lights for the future. So hopefully by the next video, everything will look much better with better lighting, better scenery and everything. We'll get it all set up. But as you can see, the detailing is very nice. And for anybody who is familiar with one of these tractors, obviously you'll know exactly how accurate it is. But I've just been looking at a photo and it does seem to be fairly accurate. After all, these models are supposed to be based completely on the real thing. Also the dashboard in there, you can see there is a bit of detailing on that as well. Attention to detail is very important. But yeah, it's going to look so much better with an implement, so it probably won't be next week, but in a few weeks time we'll get the first implement, stick it on the back, we can put it into a field. I'm also going to be using some of the radio controlled stuff as well, this is all 1 in 32 scale. So yeah, there we go, the first one, the Ford TW30, and I think that's going to look very good on the farm. Just the breeze block wall around the back needs to be changed. Here is just a very quick demonstration of the hitch on the back. So you can tow a trailer or mount a three-point linkage implement. Here is an above view looking down the tractor. And finally we have got a front view. So that is it for this introductory video. What we're going to do now is just put it over there. And we won't be doing anything else until we've actually set up the scenery. We're going to build on the scenery every episode. But until then, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Bye for now.